Eh, I'm lost again. Hi, my name is Yev and welcome back to the Get Smart Home Office channel. And today I want to show you this mouse from Red Dragon and this is M991 model. And the reason for this because my old friend Logitech G502 Hero is unfortunately broken, so right button doesn't work anymore. And that's why I want to give a chance to this Red Dragon uh, model, especially because the models or the body of this mice are very close and it's very useful for me because it's a kind of the same mouse, the same weight with a couple of additional parameters, tech parameters, especially taking into account that it's like more than five years of this mouse. So. I propose today that we will open the box, we will check what is inside, we will do quick test with AIM Lab and of course Battlefield, I already did. And you know what, let's understand what is the uh, evolution of budget gaming FPS mouses is, was done during last couple of years. And the main question of this video, this mouse with given budget makes sense for today or not? Stay tuned, let's go. Okay guys, let's open the box and check what is inside. And, but before that, let's quickly go through the main parameters of this mouse. So you can change DPI level on a fly. You have uh, enhanced grip, I already mentioned. 20 million click durability, RGB backlight, and two ergonomic thumb buttons and rapid fire. So inside the box, you might see that we have this USB-A, USB-C cable. We have wireless dongle, Red Dragon mouse. This mouse isn't just about gaming, you know. It's about really redefining what budget gamers can expect from budget gear. Underneath we have more switch which is a changing pulling rate or refresh rate. And you can see that on off button and echo mode. And we, in echo mode, it can save energy while you are not using the mouse. And also you may see that this is a place where you can store your wireless dongle when you don't need this. There you go. So let's see what this mouse is look like. So you have obviously left and right buttons. You have this central wheel without different modes. So it's, it's like, you know, you have it as you have it. And before we will compare it with my old friend G502 Hero, let's look at the M991 design. So first of all, you may see that it's ergonomically crafted for right-handed users and it features left, right and one of two macro buttons, additional grip. So it's a built-in grip for uh, inside these buttons, sides and buttons, which is very important. And it's also very comfortable to keep this mouse in your hand. And this is a rapid fire. And let's quickly check in user manual what other buttons mean. So, as I mentioned, left mouse button, right mouse button, scroll wheel, and we have uh, side keys with default assigning left forward and the left, left backward. Also fire button, this rapid fire. I'm not sure that anybody will use this, but you can assign something useful. And this too is DPI plus DPI minus, you can change on the fly. And uh, this one, report rate switch button. From uh, back side, you have user mode toggle key. So it will switch the mouse uh, between five user modes with each click, this one. And Teflon foot pads. Also you have set of stickers, yay. Now let's talk about RGB. It's a gaming mouse, so we need to talk about RGB. And this M991, uh, you know, it's not just functional mouse. It's also stylish with adjustable true color RGB backlighting or side lighting, I may say. 
So let's put this mouse to the test. I already did, did some testing with Battlefield and I'm impressed with quality of aiming. But now let's go to Aim Lab and, to, and let's compare this with my old G502, I'm sorry, Hero from Logitech. Okay, let's connect my old Logitech mouse and do the test first. Ready? Left button is still working, right button unfortunately is glitching. But mouse was always the best one on the market. Okay, score is 50,852 with 89.6 accuracy. Now let's connect Red Dragon and try repeat, replay, 3, 2, 1, go. This mouse is also feels heavy in uh, hand, so it's not super light and I like this because I like to feel something in my hand to be able to aim better. Also, I may say that it's mid-range size mouse for mid-range size hand. This built-in grip from the left side and right side is really useful when your hand, you know, get wet. It may prevent any slippage. So, score is less, but accuracy is better because I can feel this mouse a little bit better. So, comparing the M991 with my old G502 Hero. Uh, you know, it's a little bit clear how much gaming mice have evolved because, you know, years are coming and it's a lot of them. I can't recall, but maybe this Logitech already for five years with me. So, in conclusion, this Red Dragon M991 I think it's represent the next step in uh, evolving gaming mice uh, because it's combined, you know, ergonomic design, advanced customization with software and all of that. And really, you, you may see in the games and test, in, and test game top-notch performance. And all of this, which is very important, an affordable price. So for gamers who is seeking a really high quality and versatile mouse and you know, affordable price, this M991 may be an excellent choice. It shows that, you know, high-end features are, no, are no longer exclusively to expensive models. It also represents and budget models as well. So, that's all for today's review. I hope you like this video. And if yes, please hit that like button and subscribe button. Also, please do not forget to check my blog getsmarthomeoffice.com with detailed review of this and other devices. I will catch up with you in the next video. See you. Bye.